action. This is Dan. And this is me. And this was our week four? four yeah. Four. Week four level one class. Um, and so we did Lindy Hop as a two count dance. So we kind of threw away all the things that we knew That's before right. away. Yep. Um, and we started off with a six count, oh, sorry, a triple step pattern. With our building blocks, yeah. 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 So we talked about it as building blocks, having a triple step forward. One building block, forward, triple step backwards, another building block. Step. So we spoke about how we lead and follow this with the leaf putting pressure through the back for the forwards and through their arm for the backwards. And we touched a little bit on the leads moving their body on the and before their foot goes. So it'd be and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. So that the body goes slightly early. Yeah. Um, we then had the leads lead the rock step on the outside leg. So this was with the lead going doing it forward and backwards and continuing the momentum backwards into the rock step. So as a follow, I knew which it was going to be. If there was pressure forwards, I knew I was going back and forth forwards. If there was no pressure backwards, sorry. If the pressure was still on the inside of my arm, I knew I was going into the rock step at the end of that backwards triple. So there was yet two options. At the end of the backwards triple, it could be a forward or it could be a rock step. So we had forward, backwards, it could be either one, the forwards. Either one, the backwards. We then spoke about the inside triple, so we took the inside leg going forward. So we had a rock step triple inside leg, rock step. idea after the repeated triples the leads would continue the momentum forwards into a rock step yep. um, so then we had it where it was leaders choice so we would start off with the triples and then they could either put in a backwards rock step or a forwards rock step yep. they had to do at least three triples to avoid any patterns yep. <laughs> yep. so leaders choice would have looked like this That's just purely because the leads are moving their bodies as to where they want to go. Yep. We then touched on the butterfly, which is an eight count move. Uh, so we open up slightly, we move both turn and pass step. to the other side. So the leads give the foot a little bit of a nudge. We go turn and move on to the other side. And we got a little bit of stretch in between the arms there, which is why the follow keeps the elbows. Relaxed and low. We then also did a follow bust out because we got the question what would flow nicely to initiate this opening momentum for the follow? Well, I thought the follow bust out would be great. So, this one the follows are brought directly in front of the lead during the triple step, One, two, directly in front, and then I do the backwards rock step like my butterfly. Forward one, change their momentum, come back. And then we could tie that into our butterfly really nicely. A rock, step, triple. A rock, step, triple. Step. Opening up with the butterfly. Step. So momentum flows really nicely. Step. And similarly the other way back as well. If we've got our butterflies, into the bus step. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that was our level one class. Thank you. <laughs>